The challenger on my left fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with orange trim, hailing from and representing Navajoa, Sonora, Mexico. He weighed in at a ready 146 and one half pounds, and his record represents the longest undefeated streak in boxing today with 56 wins, no losses, 50 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome tonight's challenger, who is ranked the number one welterweight contender in the world by the IBF, introducing the undefeated Luis Ramon Yodi Boy Compass. And his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing white trunks and hailing from Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at the same weight of 146 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with 23 wins, no losses, and 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome a rising young star of the welterweight division, tonight making the fourth defense of his title, introducing the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tito Trinidad. Once again, here's your referee in charge, Richard Steele. Let's go. to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. The big question in this battle of knockout artists, Felix Trinidad and Yori Boy Coppers, might not be about statistics. It might be about a test of who has the better chin. Felix Trinidad coming in 23 and 19 knockouts. Yori Boy Compass 56 and 0 with 50 KOs. And if you thought the crowd was behind Gabriel Ruelas, where do you hear the crowd get behind Yori Boy Compass, who was born and still lives in Mexico? Most of his fights have been in Mexico. We had him a couple of times. Oh, nice right hand by Felix Trinidad, who can box like a dream. Bertie, I was talking to Carlos Palomino before, former welterweight champion of the world, said Trinidad may, not, may have a better defense, he said, but this kid does have a pretty good chin. Compass gets hit a lot, but has a good chin. Don't hold him. Trinidad has an easy, Don't relaxed style, but he Don't can push. turn it up in a hurry, go to the attack with much pressure. Early on, he likes to test his opponents, feel them out, counterpunch, before he gets into high gear. He's got power in both hands. We've seen that. Compass straight up, straight ahead style, forces the pace. Good short, crisp, quick right hand. Excellent knockout punch, obviously. And if an opponent drops his left, that could be big trouble. Strong in your face left jab. Excellent hook to the party. And as uh, Bobby pointed out, has the chin. Yuri Boy, which incidentally means late skinned, a name he picked up as a kid growing up in Mexico, had to go to court to get this title shot. According to his handlers, nobody wanted to fight him, including Trinidad, uh, because of the staggering record, even though he's got no recognizable names. Yeah, some of the guys were teasing when we were doing interviews with him said, Yuri Boy actually means white boy. And uh, <laughs> hey, I jumped in there and had a teaser Whoa, back. No, they, a lot of people no, say that the white boys can't fight very well. Well, here's one that can. It, it, this uh, right, this opening round is what we expected. Uh, a round in which Trinidad boxes beautifully, not taking any chances. Yuri Boy is being patient, just waiting for his little uh, opportunity to land one big shot. I characterize him as the body of Chavez and the punch of Mike Tyson. Wait to see what this guy does once he gets on track, if he gets on track, because he's got in front of him an excellent fight. Compass in the darker trunks told us he'll start out by looking to test Trinidad, just as Ferdy pointed out, see what he has. Compass specializes in slugfests, and he says he's very prepared for Trinidad. Compass doesn't think Trinidad can take the intense pressure that he will offer, plus the fact that Compass has the strong chip. Well, right now, it's the, pot, the boxing ability of Felix Trinidad that's making all the difference right here.
been making weight. He spent a good portion of yesterday morning in the gym working feverishly to shed three or four pounds before the afternoon weigh-in. Camp apparently willing to just wait till getting close to the body and land some hammering shots. Two have been a little low, but hard to the body. Trinidad has shown to have some nice defense on the inside, picking off some of those punches, his elbows and his gloves. Very sharp right now. And that is it for round one. Let's go over to Jim Gray. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Steve. I'm with the new champion, Gabrielle Ruelas. Gabby, did you ever feel at any point that you were not in control of the fight? I never did, but, uh, you know, I was worried about those two points they took away uh, from me. I, I thought it was only one, but Joe, let, uh, at the end of the rounds, he told me that it was two points. You know, I was so concentrated on the fight, but uh, uh, my performance on each round, based upon each round, I, I thought I had to fight. You know, there was no question about that. Would you give him a rematch? You seem to frustrate him all night. <laughs> you know what? He's going he's gonna, to uh, have to fight all those other guys that he said that I had him fight to deserve to fight me. You know, because uh, I'm not saying that he disrespected me, but I just didn't like what, what he said at the end. You know, he was saying that I didn't fight the, the opponents that he had fought. Well, now he sees what happened. You know what I mean? But Congratulations. I, I definitely would give him a, a rematch. Congratulations to you. We look forward to that. Let's go back outside to Steve Albert. All right, to Jim uh, Ruelas, who looked like he had his nose rearranged a little bit, but yeah. I don't think he's going to be crying over it. He looks like he's got a detour in the, in the middle of the road there. All right, here we go, round two. Some good action from Trinidad to start things out. Yeah, Trinidad wants him to feel like he's not the only one he can punch because Trinidad does have a good punch. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Trinidad's not oh, short and oh, squat oh. and built like a puncher, but he has some sharp, crisp, good punches. Oh, there's been a lot of great tall, skinny guys that can punch your head off. <laughs> Bob Foss, keep him up, oh, keep yeah. him up. Great light heavyweight champ. He had a lightweight named Douglas Bayant that came from the islands, and boy, if he had been a, a nice person that liked to train, he could have been the champion of the world. Skinny as a rail. Now, Trinidad, who is considered to be one of boxing's rising young superstars, however, he beat a 30-year-old Maurice Plunker and a 31-year-old Hector Camacho. Question is, how will he do against a boxer in the prime of his career like Yuri Boy Compass? Well, huh? we're about to see. We're about to see. Yuri Boy, this is right where he wants to be, right inside, away from that long left jab. He better work a little bit harder than just that. I mean, he, he's, he's a little tight, is Yuri Boy Compass. Yeah, yeah, he's got to throw some punches, but he's yeah. not getting off on the inside even when he gets there. Yeah, and, and that's not his style. His style, he's, let's see, he's advancing and getting there, not throwing anything. Get there and throw. That's his way. And you wonder if the inactivity of Trinidad will be a factor. Hasn't fought for seven months, but he uh, he promises that the longest break in his career will not be a factor. Well, Somebody once told Sugar Ray Leonard that taking off all those years, he couldn't come back and beat Marvin Hager, and you see what happened there. Well, in, in this case, youth is served. <laughs> youth makes up for a lot of mistakes. I mean, this guy is so young and he's so well conditioned. He lives a very nice, clean life. Uh oh. A little short, a little short. That was a six-inch left hook. I've never seen one before. I'm telling you, this guy can punch like Tyson. Yuri Boy Compish looking to the throne. Felix Trinidad levels Trinidad here in round two. Less than a minute remaining. I'll tell you what, though, he's not working hard enough right now while he's got Trinidad a little hurt. But I've seen him work before, Bobby. He's not the kind that swarms on you. He just waits to land those heavy hands. I mean, he knows one of them will do it. He knocked 50 guys out this way. Oh, a solid uppercut by Compass. Keep him up. We saw Trinidad get decked a few fights ago by a journeyman named Anthony Stevens. So this is really no surprise. And it's no journeyman. Absolutely. When you get dropped by this guy, you got trouble when you get up. Trinidad trying to fight back. Doubles up on the left. Less than 20 seconds to go in the second. Again, the pressure from Compass. That right hand also hurt Trinidad. You yep. see him do a little double step there, and that wasn't of his own doing. It was the right hand. Final seconds, round two. A round that saw the champion, Felix Trinidad, go to the deck. Oh. <laughs> 
just get on that ink. Uh, that's it. That's nothing. It's just a flash knockdown. Oh, no, 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 We've been down before. Let's go back and stick right to our game plan. Nothing new in the corner. They just wanted to keep on boxing, not to be discouraged by that knockdown. Smart corner work. All right, let's take a look. And re remember how short this is. Boom. And right on the button. I mean, that's what you call a punching power of this guy, Bobby. Bernie, that's the shortest left hook I've ever seen. He takes it back maybe six inches and just jumps in with it. Bam. He didn't even cock it or unwind it. It just, just jumped in with his body. I mean, and it went just with the flow of his body, just turned it right. Well, that's a puncher, Bobby. You knock out 50 guys out of 56 guys, you got to have something. Well, I don't care who you're knocking out. Trinidad down a minute 45 into round two. No, we now enter no, round no, number no, three. So many stories here. Not only the two fighters in the ring, but Richard Steele. Still hearing it after four and a half years, a reminder of what's ahead with Chavez and Taylor, too. Well, I hope he hasn't got a tough night tonight. Poor Richard Steele has had a career full of upsets and, and controversy. Takes a lot of guts for Steele to even be in this arena tonight. I give him a lot of credit. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think he's a very confident referee. He's just been put in some oh, look at this. situations. Look at this. Oh, all right. Give him up, give him up. He's coming back. They must have told him in the corner, you got him. Now, don't just go slow. Go oh, at it. Low, hey, low hey, pull hey, by hey, Trinidad. Keep it up. Keep it up. And the Man, warning from Steele. Yeah. To finish Bob's thought, and I agree with it, Steele is a top flight referee. He's just had a couple of really strange moments in his life, but let's get back to this fight, which is top flight. You have to wonder if that knocked another one. I know. Oh, look out. Good corner. Time. One point. Oh, boy. He's taking a point. Oh, already. Already. This could be a very long night. He only got one warning, Ferdy, not two. Oh, man. Here we go again. Oh, it's just something about... There's something about championship fights and, and steel that seems to, to uh, dim his judgment. A point on oh, Trinidad from Lolo here in round three. So a tough, tough start. Felix Trinidad, the champion. Oh, a big left hand by Trinidad coming back. I'll tell you what, he's like, by Trinidad. he heard Compass with that left hook. I saw Compass stand up and his legs get a little funny. He came out of that crouch. He was stood up by that left hook. Oh, those were great hooks. Another low blow. Now both of them are guilty. Oh, wow. Halfway through the third round and beyond. A low blow festival. No holding. And this no one has Great. the first seven, fight seven. shaping up to be a wild affair. Oh, Trinidad boxes so beautifully when he gets started. Look at oh, what a right hand by Trinidad. But there's the chin of Compass. He's holding well, I'll tell you what. The difference in this fight is going to be conditioning, Ferdy. It has to be, and I think right now the favors in Trinidad's come corner. On, work your way out. I mean, if this kid's not a superstar to come, I don't know. He's going to have to get by here. Look at these shots by Trinidad. They're all landing flush on the face, and Compass just standing in there and taking it. What's holding him up? What a chin again! Blistering shots by Trinidad, exploding. Trinidad, a thing of beauty as he punches. What a chin! Carlos Palomino told me the difference might be that defense. He said that Compass takes too many shots. But Trinidad bombing away here in round three. 25 seconds and counting. So remember the best he can get is an even round because they've taken a point away from him already. Punch away out. Trinidad coming off the canvas. He was decked in round two. Oh, look at that left uppercut twisting into the chin of Compass. He's a thing of beauty when he gets going. Certainly were enough of them you could pick up by any re Oh, yeah. That was low. That was below the orange there. I was clean. It was right square in the middle. And, you know, funny, right after he hit Compass with the low blow, he got yeah. a right uppercut in his mouth. And, of course, great fighters come back. And this kid has got all the makings of a great fighter. And, and, and when you're looking at it, what's holding up, up Compass? I mean, those shots are so beautiful by Trinidad. Well, we want to know about it, Chin. Now we know. All right, so... 
after that hard working round, he got an even round because he certainly was pummeling Yuri Boy Campos, but they took a point away from him. Round four, scheduled for 12 for the IBF Waterweight Championship. Felix Trinidad in the white with the red trim is the champion. Oh, what a right uppercut by Trinidad. And again, Campos just stares right back at him. Doesn't even flinch from those shots. Now he's one of the tough guys from the interior of Mexico. Just come out, you got to just about kill him and knock him out. Well, the fact that he punches so well, Compass, you can never count him out. He's always got that puncher's chance, and that's what makes him dangerous. Pushing and hitting there, Trinidad. Trinidad probably wondering himself, what do I have to do to get this guy down? Yeah, and let me tell you, Compass does not pardon you as far as the body. He keeps going right to the body. He could just be going head hunting with his punch, but he keeps working on that body. He knows, he knows. Work on the body, and then he'll come up Punch when the out. time comes. Shades of Chavez. Oh, oh beautiful combination. combination. And a left hook by Trinidad. On a right, followed by a left. Compass, is he ready to go? He He's is. staggered. I don't know what's holding him up, Steve. He is getting hit with everything. Unbelievable chin, Yuri Boy Compass. That is inhuman. He just got hit with a tremendous body shot as well. Give him up, give him I'll tell up. you what, the punches are taking its toll everywhere. His face is showing the signs. It's terrible. this kid up. Just remember that one shot can turn it around. And Compass comes back. Even after taking that punishment, he comes back with a flurry. Another combination to the head by Trinidad. He just takes those punches so clean. You can't do that. That not only shortens careers, but it'll shorten his fight. Well, he should shorten his fight. He should have been out. This, this is the kind of guy that throws a punch from the canvas. I mean, he seems to be automatic with his punches. Campus. And beautiful, beautiful combination punching. You can't see it better than by Trinidad punching here. Furious pace here. They stand in the center of the ring toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now this figured to be one of the best fights in the... Oh, 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 a series of lefts by Trinidad. It rocked Compass for a second, but he comes right back. No holding to Trinidad, says Richard Steele. Wild miss, and he follows it up I'll tell you with what, a vicious right. You're looking at the beginning of the end right here. Compass ready to go, or is he? when he should have stopped it. It is an excellent, excellent example of what a new future champion of uh, superstar quality can look like. Felix Trinidad, as we said, when he went to fight Blocker, is the villain. And he proved it again tonight. His toughest fight, he came through like Sugar Ray Roberts. Felix Trinidad comes off the canvas in round two to end it here in round four with a blistering attack to the head of Yori Boy Compass who just refused to go down. Unbelievable heart. That is so an immeasurable quality that all the great ones have. Well, the one thing that tells in boxing is class. And I, while I am one of the biggest admirers of Campos and have seen him so many times, fight and pull, fights out, still he was, when you saw these two guys together, that's two different kinds of class. Uh, Felix Trinidad being his hand being held up by his managers and Don King big 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 future ahead of this young kid and now let's watch a master in action young as he is look at the aggression on the face of Trinidad punches from all angles oh now that is as close as you can come to being knocked out standing up Steve I'll tell you what, Bertie, this kid has got all of it. He got up off the floor again and in just a matter of two rounds demolished his opponent. Accuracy, power on each shot, all the punches, the hooks, the uppercuts, the right hands, the jabs, good defense, good speed, a future legend. I, I, I was so impressed when I saw him first. I saw him in Miami when he had three or four fights. I couldn't believe he was that good. That baby-faced little killer. Watch this. From this angle, you can see, look at that punch. That one. Is, a, is that alone should have knocked him out. And as he goes to the ropes, there's two right there and right there that just you don't even like to see. 
I mean, that, that was just already too much. No question about it. No question about it. This is a star of the future. Felix Trinidad remains undefeated. His fourth defense of the IBF welterweight title. And a star that continues to shine. The pride of Puerto Rico now 24-0 as Trinidad inflicts the first loss on Yori Boy Compass. There you see it, 241, round four. Compass previously unblemished, now 56-1. and one. Boy, they just keep lining them up for Felix. Let's hear the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 41 seconds. In round number four, the referee in charge, Richard Steele, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still champion, Felix Tito Trinidad.